packages and system airlock package is a powerful system airlock specific features which helps to share common defines and common uh, common code across different different files and different hierarchies so they are explicitly named scopes appearing at the after the topmost level of the source text and within a package you can define in any types parameters nets variable functions tasks sequences properties etc and you can use those packages in uh, any of those modules interfaces programs and on some other packages etc so a package will be defined within a package and end package keyword and we'll see an example in this slide so here i'm defining a package named my package so it is defined within the package and end package keyword and it is defining two type definitions for enumeration like with the name bool underscore t and axa rasp underscore t and in order to use these uh, type of enumerations in some other uh, components so in a module you need to import this package into this module scope so that can be uh, done in two different ways either you can refer uh, those package explicitly using the package scope resolution oper operator which is colon colon so if you wanted to refer um, this bool t uh, in in some other modules you can um, refer like my package colon colon bool t then declare a variable of the type b1 and assign itself the value false which is again defined within my, my package therefore you need to again use my package colon colon false and the second method is importing the package so by using the import keyword you can import this package into another another file or another package or another module so here is an example within the module module mode one i have imported this my pack my pkg and here i have used a star import so if you wanted to import everything in in a, in one package to another another place you can just use a star keyword so the package name colon colon the star keyword which which will import everything that is defined in this package into the scope and after that you are free to use whatever is defined within this package as if as if like it is already defined within this scope so for you can um, um, declare variable of axi response type uh, say a1 is equal to ok you can assign a value and also you can declare uh, this bool type variable and assign a value and if you don't want to import everything but if you are very specific to importing uh, a particular sub part of this package that is also possible so instead of that star you just import whatever you need to import so import my package colon colon axrs t so in this module 2 only this item uh, with uh, x response t enumeration will be imported and therefore you are free to define a variable of this type but uh, since it is not importing everything or it is not explicitly importing this bool t as well you can't define uh, a variable of bool t type within module 2 this is a very simplified explanation of using packages in system below so you can define different packages and you can import one package from another package and also it's allowed to define the same items in multiple packages and um, and uh, import them appropriately so there are many combinations possible uh, some are legal some are illegal but most commonly uh, everything that is common across different files will be defined in a package and the people who are using this uh, uh, common items will be importing those packages so even if you're using a uvm test bench the whole uvm methodology itself will be available uh, within a package called uvm underscore pkg uh, in the same way you can define your own test bench packages your own general definition packages etc and import appropriately So before binding up, just understand that there is a built-in package in system verilog which, which is named as std. So the std package in system verilog provides a lot of built-in um, built code that is ready to use into your code. Uh, some of them are the semaphore class, the mailbox, cla mailbox class, the randomized function, the process class, etc. So while learning semaphore, you have learned that semaphore is a built-in class and that class is defined in the standard std package and this std package will be implicitly a wildcard imported into this compilation scope so you don't need to uh, explicitly specify like import std it will be implicitly available in the compilation scope 